Are you tired of scrolling through job boards hoping for that big break? Well, imagine waking up to find your bank account has grown by $500 overnight. I know it probably sounds like a fantasy, right? But for the 36% of Americans who have a side hustle, this is their everyday reality. And today we're going to pull back the curtain to making this your reality as well. Yeah, yeah. Starting something new, especially when it comes to your career, can feel like stepping off a cliff with a blindfold on. I know. The uncertainty of the unknown, it's like these invisible chains that are holding you back. But not here. Here on this channel, we own our future. It's success in progress. Okay? And today, I'm going to tell you that there's a way to break free without risking your life savings or quitting your day job. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to go through five free certifications that could completely skyrocket your online income in 2024. In fact, one of these certifications has the potential to boost your earning by 26% in just six months. And no, that's not just a number that I pulled out of thin air. It is based on real data from Coursera's impact report. So if you're intrigued, stay tuned. We're going to get to that one soon. But now you're probably thinking, you said free certifications, but what's the catch? And I get it. We do live in a world where we're constantly bombarded with too good to be true offers. And if I were in your shoes, skepticism would be my best friend as well. But look, I've got other things to do as well. And I don't like to waste anybody's time. So on this channel, I'm giving you honest, legit value that you could actually use. Because here's the truth. Companies are like hungry lions and skilled professionals like you are the rare gazelles that they're desperate to catch. So let's get into our first certification. This one is a chatbot development with Python course from Great Learning. And if you're wondering why chatbots? Well, I mean, it's like having a tireless assistant, you know, like your own Siri who can handle customer queries and any type of requests 24 seven, which frees up the owner's time to focus on the big picture aspects and, you know, things that actually make an impact in the business. And I think recently for the last two years, everyone's starting to truly understand the power of chatbots. And obviously businesses are clamoring for professionals who can create this type of chatbots. So this comprehensive course is in my opinion, super, super valuable for beginners because if you have no prior experience, there is absolutely no problem. You need to take one and a half hours of self-paced video content and you're gonna go into the world of AI chatbots. You're gonna understand their types, architecture, and obviously the crucial processes behind creating them using Python. And where I think it gets really interesting is that you're not just looking at the theoretical knowledge, but by the end of the course, you're gonna be able to build your very own chatbot. I mean. Think about the possibilities that this opens up because you could create chatbots for small businesses, for e-commerce sites, or even for your own projects. And if you're wondering what's the best part, then you will have lifetime access to the course materials, which allows you to revisit and refine your skills if you feel like you need to. But now let's talk money because obviously everybody's always asking, how do you actually turn this certification into income, right? Let me know in the comments if you're not wondering this. I'd be surprised. And honestly, this is where your entrepreneurial spirit comes into play because you can start by creating a portfolio of chatbots, ideally for a specific niche or for a specific persona. And each of these chatbots would solve a unique problem. Let me give you an example. Let's say um, you want to target, I don't know, restaurants. Then you can create a chatbot that can work with the kitchen, for example, to come up with new recipes and to identify missing ingredients in their pantry. You can have a chatbot that gets implemented on the restaurant's website and then people can talk to the chatbot to find the best time and the best day to book a table. You can have a chatbot that helps the restaurant stay in touch with all the providers, the suppliers that they work with and be able to uh, manage that relationship. There's lots of ways that you can create chatbots to support a certain niche or a certain industry, right? And you can then take those chatbots that you've built in your portfolio and either start targeting those local businesses directly, which you can very easily do if you use Google Maps, because you will be able to find for a specific region, all the restaurants or all the, I don't know, hair salons, whatever niche you've picked, you can find them on Google Maps and then you can start approaching them. Or you can take the, let's say, less proactive approach, which is not entirely uh, passive either. And that's leveraging platforms like Upwork or Fiverr, where you can also offer this type of services. And you can offer the standard chatbots that you have developed, or you can create bespoke chatbots. You can create tailored ones for any business that is actually looking to do that. Now, coming in at number two, I have an event management course for you from OHSC. 
And I think this is massive because the events industry is undergoing this huge digital transformation and virtual and hybrid events are the new black or orange or whatever color is trending now. And businesses are scrambling to adapt to that. And in fact, we found studies that say that in 2023, companies have spent anywhere between 100,000 all the way to $5 million in order to create this type of virtual events which essentially means that there is this growing demand for professionals who understand both traditional event planning as well as digital event management. Now, imagine having the expertise to plan and execute events flawlessly, anything from corporate functions to weddings and large-scale conferences and anything in between. Because this course, spanning over 20 hours, I believe, is designed for distance learning, making it perfect for anyone who's juggling other commitments or who's not in the UK. You can take it from anywhere in the world. And it covers everything from the basics of event planning to the nuances of uh, digital and traditional event management. And with this certification, you are positioning yourself at the inner section of these two worlds. And once you've done that, then you can very easily capitalize on this certification by, let's say, volunteering to organize events for local organizations or for nonprofits in your area. And this is going to give you that practical experience and it's going to help you build your portfolio. But then you can consider specializing in virtual events and many businesses are going to be very grateful for you helping them out of the struggle to create those engaging online uh, experiences. And This way, by offering your expertise in this area, you can carve out a very nice lucrative niche for yourself. Because then platforms like LinkedIn, like Eventbrite, are really good places for you to network and find opportunities in this field. And I think the really cool part is that, as I said, uh, this certification is available globally. So no matter where you are, no matter where you live, you can start your journey into event management with this one. Now, our third certification is actually a double whammy from HubSpot Academy because we have the content marketing certification and the inbound marketing certification. And each one as a standalone is gonna be great, but together they're gonna be unbeatable. Because look, you've probably heard the saying that content is king and businesses with original content, be that blogs or content on their social media, they generate on average 67% more leads per month than when they don't have that type of content. That is literally how strong content marketing is. And these two certifications that I mentioned, they teach you how to wield that power effectively. So let me go into a bit more detail. The content marketing certification covers everything from strategy creation to content promotion and performance analysis. And then if you look at the inbound marketing certification, that one focuses more on attracting and retaining customers through valuable content and experiences. And that's why I'm saying that together, these certifications are gonna equip you with this unbeatable skill set that is in super high demand across industries and across the globe. So by earning these certifications, you will be able to position yourself as a skilled marketeer capable of driving results. And it'll be you know, opening lots of doors for you to high paying roles in digital marketing, or it's going to provide the skills needed to excel in your current role if you are already in a marketing job. Now, let me hear you. (laughs) The million dollar question. How do you turn the certifications into cold hard cash, right? (laughs) Well, I mean, the easiest would be that you create your own blog or your own YouTube channel or your own avenue to share and create content, right? And I think that's a brilliant idea because it actually serves two purposes. Number one, it gives you a platform to practice your newly acquired skills, but it also becomes a portfolio that you can showcase to potential clients or employers. Now, another way that you can explore is freelance content creation. And other than Upwork, Fiverr, the known ones, you can go to Clear Voice, you can go to Contently. There's lots of places where you can go and get paid as a content creator. And honestly, With these two HubSpot certifications, you're going to have a leg up on your competition. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay, so fourth on our list is the Python for Data Science course from LinkedIn Learning. And you can also pair this one with the Google Data Analytics certification from Coursera. Now, I need to caveat this a little bit because I've talked about actually the Coursera one before. And uh, many of you came back to me and said, yeah, but it's only free for seven days. I know, but I think it's good enough to give you a sense of what you're going to be able to learn. In seven days, if you're really committed, you can go through quite a bit. You might not be able to finish everything unless you're, you know, studying 20 hours a day. That's not the point. What I'm saying here is that if after the seven day free trial, you decide that the course is not for you, then you wouldn't have wasted your money. And if you do believe that there is enough value in that course that will help you actually use the certification to get a better job, to get better pay, then maybe it's not that bad of an idea 
to pay the monthly subscription for a month or two so that you have enough time to thoroughly go through the content and prepare to take your certification as well. And I don't know if you know, but this is where it gets really juicy. The demand for data professionals is skyrocketing super fast, like really fast. In fact, I think IBM predicted that the demand for data scientists will grow more than 28% year over year for the coming years. Now, let me break it down. Python is an incredibly powerful tool for data analysis and visualization, and it is essential for today's data-driven world. I mean, we use it in my company as well. And this course is going to teach you how to harness Python's capabilities to analyze and interpret complex data. And if you're going to couple that with Google's data analytics certification, which covers data cleaning, visualization, and analysis techniques, then you are going to get yourself an incredibly comprehensive skill set for data science and analytics. And you are going to set yourself clearly apart from any type of competition when you're applying to jobs, believe me. Now, remember that certification that I mentioned earlier, the one that could significantly improve your career trajectory within just six months? This is it. Companies are willing to pay top dollar for professionals who can turn raw data into actionable insights. And with these certifications, you are also able to enhance your marketability to other potential employers or clients, even in your current job. Because remember, your ability to not just analyze data, but to communicate insights in a way that uh, um, makes it easy for non-technical stakeholders to understand is going to be your unique selling point. Trust me, I used to lead a team who did exactly this. Now, last but certainly not least, we have the free CodeCamp Responsive Web Design Certificate. Because look, we live in a world where mobile browsing has overtaken desktop and the ability to create responsive websites is not a uh, nice to have. It, it's a requirement, right? And this course is going to teach you the fundamentals of HTML and CSS, the building blocks of the web. Right. And because, you know, I don't like to stop at theory. We picked this one because you're going to be able to complete a series of projects culminating actually with a portfolio that is going to showcase your skills. So this is a hands on approach, which I believe is invaluable and is going to give you real world experience that you can then immediately apply. And here's where this certification really shines. Web development skills are always literally always in demand. And this certificate gives you a solid foundation to build upon. Think about this. I was reading the other day that in many countries, up to 80% of businesses don't have a website. Probably in the US, that number is much lower. But even there, I read that small businesses, probably 20% of them still don't have a website. So imagine the opportunity. So whether you're looking for freelance opportunities, if you want to start your own web design business, or if you want to land a job with a tech company, this certification is going to open a lot of doors for you. So you can turn your certification into income by building websites for local businesses, for nonprofits. As I said, many small businesses still don't have a web presence or have really outdated useless sites, many of them that are not even mobile friendly. And you can offer to create or update their website. You can focus on responsive design. And as you build your portfolio, then you can start targeting larger clients. And you can also use different monetization methods where you create the website, but then you also sell them, let's say a retainer for you to be able to either update the website or I don't know, change or tackle any issues that they have with the websites as time goes by. And that adds to your passive income because many months there might be nothing that you need to do. Another really great way for you to explore this is creating and selling website templates. You can look at platforms like ThemeForest, for example, which allows you to sell your designs to a global audience. Now, look, these certifications are really powerful tools, but they're just the beginning, right? The real magic only happens when you apply what you've learned, when you experiment, when you fail, learn, and grow. And don't underestimate the power of networking. You can join LinkedIn groups related to your chosen field. You can participate in online forums. You can attend virtual meetups. Sometimes the right connection can lead to opportunities that you've never knew existed. I wish you the very best of luck. Let me know in the comments down below how it's going for you, which one you're going to go after, and what are your thoughts after taking these certifications. I really hope this was helpful. Let me know what you you think and if you want me to make more videos like this one give me any thoughts or feedback in the comments down below i'll see you there until next time go ahead and watch this video over here and like this video subscribe if you haven't done so and share with anyone who you think could benefit from this type of information i'll see you soon